I want to start by saying a warm, warm welcome to you all. Warm welcome to your Upper Face Masterclass. We're going to be looking at six face yoga and wellness tips for smooth and serene skin. So I want to start off telling you a little bit about what the goal of today's masterclass is. So by the end of this, I want you to feel that you've learned more about your face in a really positive way. You're celebrating the natural approaches to beauty. You've experienced some new techniques. You've enjoyed some wellness tips. By the end of this, I want you to at least be on the path towards loving the skin you're in. And also, I want you to be the first to know about my brand new course, which I am so excited about. And I'm gonna give you a little, little teaser on it. Maybe Marie will put the link up because I know some of you are gonna wanna grab it straight away because it's an amazing early bird price for only 28 pound, like one off fee. Um, and it's called 21 Day Face Yoga. And it's all three minute videos, all working a different part of the face over 21 days. And you've also got some videos in there on Gua Sha, crystal rollers, jade rollers, and using a teaspoon. So very excited that I'll tell you more about that later. So what I want to start off doing is talking about the upper face because this is what we're really going to be focusing on today. Now, there can be some problem areas as we age of the upper face. We can find that maybe we get horizontal lines on the forehead, maybe we get lines between our eyebrows, maybe we find that our skin and our upper face looks duller as we age, but particularly if we're going through times of stress. Maybe we can find that our eyebrows start to get hooded, maybe we find that we're getting tired or tired looking or tired feeling eyes. Maybe we get puffiness under the eyes. Maybe we get eye bags or crow's feet. Maybe we can find that we're getting dark circles under the eyes, or maybe we find that we're getting tension, pain and stress in the upper face. So these can be some of the things that we may find about our upper face. Now, let me say something about that. Lines are not bad. So even though I've listed problems that we can have with our face, none of this is bad. There is nothing wrong with lines, wrinkles, bags or anything else on our face. Aging is a normal process and I really believe really deep in my heart and soul that we should honestly celebrate the privilege of getting older. Sadly it's a privilege that many many people don't get and every year that we get older we should be celebrating that. I always think that society and the media and social media always make us feel that getting older is a bad thing, but actually it's a real privilege. So these are the things that you can do. You can choose to let your skin age just as it is. That is fine to do. Or you may choose to have more invasive options or tweakments or surgeries, or you may choose to go down a more natural, holistic approach, just to look and feel the best version of yourself. And it's also okay to do a combination of these things. And something I really want to bring across today in this masterclass, particularly as we go on to doing our face yoga techniques later, is you can choose what feels good for you as all options are valid. There's no right or wrong when it comes to your face. Now, needless to say, face yoga is the choice that I decide to take and the route that I decide to go down. And face yoga really is the natural holistic approach. So if you're new to face yoga, let me just tell you the five key areas. So there's the facial exercise. So this is strengthening and toning the muscles in the skin. There's a facial massage, and this is wonderful for helping with lymphatic drainage, with circulation, with releasing tension, with lifting and sculpting the face. There is acupressure, so applying pressure to certain points in the face. There is the relaxation and there is the well-being. And when I say the relaxation, yes, for mind and body, but certain muscles in the face need to be lifted and toned and strengthened and others really need to be relaxed. And face yoga definitely isn't about hating our wrinkles. It's definitely not about fighting against aging or criticizing our face. It's really about just empowering ourselves by learning how to use our own hands as these wonderful tools that they are to energize, to lift and to relax our face naturally. I am so happy to see all these comments, guys, by the way. You are just so sweet and it's such a lovely community already. And yes, you will get a full recording of this and these slides. So do not worry at all. 
So let's talk a little bit about the natural approach versus the invasive approach. And particularly because we're going to be focusing on upper face face yoga today, I really think this is important to talk about because there's a really big movement at the moment towards a more invasive option in the upper face. But equally, there's a really big movement towards the natural approach. So I'm 42 and I've never had any of these injectables or invasive treatments or surgery. And I always think it's important to say that I'm not against these things for many reasons, but I don't do it for many reasons. Plus, any of you guys that have been following me for a while or done any of my books or courses or anything, well, you know that I'm very much led by my intuition. And my intuition just tells me not to go down that injectable route. And I know that there are so many good natural ways with face yoga being the best one. So I know this from all the research I've done over the last 19 years, all the amazing feedback from my customers and my clients and all the evidence I've seen in the before and after pictures over about 19 years. And also just the personal experience. I've seen what face yoga does for my face. But face yoga can take a little bit more time and a little bit more dedication. And this is one thing I would say. So if you're gonna go down a route of, for example, getting something like Botox or an injectable for your face, you probably are gonna see results immediately. However, we do know that those results don't last and there is side effects with that. With face yoga, it does take a little bit longer. So straight away, even after we've done all the techniques in today's class, you'll notice your upper face looks smoother, it looks more glowing, but really to get those results, it takes a little bit of dedication, a little bit of consistency every day. And really you need to give it a few weeks to start to see those really big results. But face yoga also goes so much deeper than the skin. It's about cultivating self-gratitude, self-love and mindfulness. And I really think it's about having that control over our own face, because often we feel like the aging process is like running away with us and there's nothing we can do. So it's just having that control in our own hands in a really positive and nurturing way. So let me know, have you seen any results of face yoga? I'd love for anybody that said they have done some or anyone that has said that they're quite experienced with face yoga. What results have you seen for your face? It'd be lovely to share with me and everyone else in the chat. I'd love to hear that. And the nice thing about face yoga is you feel really good by doing it. Plus it keeps getting better and better. So what I, the feedback I get from many people that have gone down a more injectable route, and like I said, I'm not against that route at all, but they often find that their skin, particularly their forehead area, will look amazing for maybe six or 12 weeks, but then they start to see the lines and wrinkles come back again, and then they need to go and get the injectables again. And it becomes a little bit of an up and down. Whereas with face yoga, yes, it's a little bit more of a slower process, but you keep seeing those results get better and better and better. Amazing. Let me see what everyone's saying. Yes, great results. So um, Christine's saying less puffy and tighter lower face. Um, Sharon's saying much more relaxed in the face. I'm starting to see a difference, Tasha's saying. Deborah's saying much more uplifted in my cheek area and jawline more de defined. Paul V's saying tighter skin. Um, amazing. Also reduction in under eye bags. Great. Kathy says face and neck look fresher more of a glow, Giovanna says. Sarah says the muscles on the forehead are stronger and lifting my eyes. Luciana says results in one month. <laughs> your husband and your mum noticed, I love that. Um, Azim saying more glowing and refreshing skin. This is great. Alex has said wonderful results are lifting my drooping eyelids. I even compare checking photos to myself and photos from 2018 and there's a difference. Alex, that's amazing. Oh, Audrey's saying amazing results, and Megan. Amanda's saying radiance and glow. Yes, guys, keep sharing these and you can read each other's comments as well. It's so nice to see that. So what can we actually do to empower our upper face? Well, this is what I'm gonna be teaching you today and I'm really excited about this class because we're really gonna focus on this area. I'm gonna take you through today some forehead massages and don't worry, I'll do big screen when we do this so you can see me close up. We're gonna do some eye yoga we're going to do some eyebrow lifting exercises. We're going to do head massage, which is going to really help to lift the face. I'm going to talk to you about a few of my favourite upper face tools that I use regularly. And we're going to do some really powerful affirmations for our mind, which are going to help our face. Plus, I am super, super excited because we have just launched literally about 15 minutes ago. 
my brand new course and it's called 21 day face yoga to lift and glow in three minutes daily and i've made this from feedback from you guys that you want to just do three minutes of face yoga every day you want to see results within three weeks you want something that you can just go into your problem area. So each of the classes are, for example, forehead, eyes, cheeks, mouth, jaw, neck area. And I've also done a little video in there for upper face gua sha, a little one for lower face gua sha, a little one for jade roller and um, rose quartz roller, and a little one using a teaspoon. So you've got three minute videos on all this. And you can either take maybe three or four of the three minute videos and make a longer program each day, or you can just do three minutes every day for 21 days and the price I'm really really passionate at the moment about making the prices super super affordable so for just this week so just between now and Tuesday it's only 28 pounds which I'm so excited about out and next week it'll go up to 31 pounds which is still super affordable but if you want to grab it Marie will put the link in the um in the chat now and you can just grab that whenever you're ready because it's absolutely worth having and you can just do those videos every day and get results for the whole face. I do love all your feedback. Everyone's saying so much more healthy and glowing skin since doing face yoga, more defined jawline. Oh, Valentine says face yoga has changed my life. That is so lovely. Thank you for sharing that. Amazing, amazing. Oh, guys. Oh, you're so sweet. Right, let's keep going because we are going to start doing our face yoga in a minute. I promise it'll be a couple of minutes. I just want to tell you a little bit more about face yoga in general. So it's really about empowering ourselves. And this is what we're going to be doing today. Empowering ourselves to love the skin we're in, to have the knowledge to take our control back in our own hands, to have the tools in our own hands, to not rely on injections, to feel great about our age and be proud, to feel that aging is a privilege, to feel gratitude for our face and to love the skin we're in. So I just want to very briefly tell you why I'm so passionate about face yoga and mostly about the wellness aspect about face yoga. So as you can see from all the comments that people are putting in the chat, face yoga absolutely transforms your face, but it transforms your wellness too. So 20 years ago, actually this month, I was bedridden with a chronic illness. I think by now I'd been ill for about six months or so. And I completely healed myself within just over a year with lots of different holistic approaches. And what it gave me, of course, it was a very, very difficult time. I was bedridden, I was housebound and I was in a lot of pain in my body. But as I healed myself, it gave me my soul's purpose. And my soul's purpose really, I deeply believe, is to help people feel better and help them with their wellness. And I've been very blessed over 18, 19 years, I've helped millions of people worldwide, whether it be through my courses or my books or my skincare range or all the other things. I've been very happy and excited and blessed to do for all these years, whether it be on TV or, or in the media. And I'm really just helping people to look and feel healthy inside and out. So let's do some face yoga together. And then I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the 21 day course because I'm super excited about it but Marie will put it up in the chat um little question here let's have a little look do we have access to all the videos beyond the 21 days can we purchase now and start our 21 days tomorrow absolutely you I should have said that I'm sorry you have got these videos for life you could purchase the course now and you wouldn't need to start it till whenever you want next month next year five years time now straight away after the course it's entirely up to you if you've already got my seven day course Get this one as well. It's going to complement it really well because the 21 day course is meaning that you can just pick each of the key areas of the face. So each of the sections in just three minutes, plus you've got the facial tools in there, which my seven day course doesn't have. So if you've got the seven day course, this is going to complement it so, so well. Um, yes, you're going to love it. There is lifetime access to it. So you can start it when you like. You don't even need to do it over 21 days. You could do it tomorrow and the next day then you could take five days break if you wanted to it's entirely up to you so i'm going to stop sharing the screen for a moment and let's do some face yoga okay guys so we are just going to focus on the upper face today so what i'd love you to do is just ground yourself for a moment so if you're able to put either both your feet flat on the floor or if you're sat cross-legged just allow your tailbone just to sink into the floor a little bit. And I want you just to lengthen up 
through your spine. So just trying to lengthen up as much as you possibly can and just relax your shoulders down and back for a moment. And I want you just to close your eyes now. So you're going to close your eyes and we're just going to place a hand onto our heart center and a hand onto our abdomen. And you're going to start just by breathing in through your nose and just allow your tummy just to rise a little bit. And then as you breathe out, just allow your tummy to lower a little. So the hand on your heart center is just there to give you a little bit of self-love, but also just to remind you to keep your chest area as still as you possibly can. So inhaling, belly rises, exhaling, just feel that abdomen lower. And what I'd love you to do here is just to set an intention, an intention for the next sort of hour or so, how you'd like to feel when you've really just taken this time for yourself. Maybe there's an intention for something for your upper face, but just set that intention with yourself for a moment. Wonderful. And now you've set your intention and you've calmed your breath. You can gently open your eyes and we're going to start with our forehead exercises. Okay, so we're just going to start off really simply. We're just going to work between our eyebrows. So the first part of our class today is really focused on forehead massage. Now, as we go through each massage, I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about it. But generally, massage is really going to help to boost the circulation and gently relax tension in the muscles. So this one in particular is wonderful for helping to really release tension in the procerus muscle. Now your procerus muscle is your muscle that just goes between your eyebrows. Now, when we are stressed, maybe when we're feeling a lot of tension in our mind, maybe times when we're feeling angry or times when we're concentrating a lot, what we can tend to do is we can tend to pull this area in. And as we sort of pull and tighten the muscle inwards, it creates some little lines, usually what we call number 11 lines, sometimes can be a few more lines or sometimes it can even be horizontal lines. And then as we age, so as we age from about the age of 20, we tend to lose about 1% of the collagen in our skin. And as we lose that collagen in our skin, what we tend to find is those lines etch into the skin and then they form those wrinkles. Now, in terms of pressure here, I just want you to use fairly gentle pressure. What you're doing here is you're signifying the muscle to relax. So you really don't need to go too deep into the skin. You're trying to encourage that muscle to relax now so later on and definitely through the rest of the day and the rest of the night, you're not going to tense it in and therefore you're going to help to prevent and also soften any lines there. So just bring your arms down. Yes, Pamela, you want to use something on your skin. So I've got the Fusion by Danielle Collins Moisturising Serum. By the way, I was just shaking my arms off there because sometimes it can feel a bit of tension in your arms. So please do feel free to do that if you want to. So yes, I use a Fusion by Danielle Collins Moisturising Serum, which is beautiful, vegan, organic, credited by the Soil Association. And it's got just the perfect glide for massage, but it's non-greasy. So you can just leave it on your skin and leave it on overnight and it won't clog your pores as well. And it's deeply hydrating and it's made with plant seed oils and botanical seed oils. And it's got molecules small enough to get into that middle layer of skin where the collagen and elastin is too. So it doesn't just sit on top of the skin 
like the cream so it's a it's a beautiful beautiful product so that's what i'm using and use whatever you've got at home just bring your arms down and shaking them out yes exactly amy you get lovely toned arms and do all the face yoga as well um so generally with the techniques i'm teaching you the rule is about one minute each so now you're just going to take your finger like this and you're going to go up so you'll feel this is a little bit deeper into the skin now one minute is ideal and in the 21 day course you have got in each three minute video so like i said you can do it one each day or you can do a few in one day or you can skip a few days whatever you like but you work on each area of the face and you've got like two three minute videos for the forehead two for the eyes and so on and as you do these videos, you will only do about three minutes. So it'll be three key techniques for each part of the face, each one minute each. And I always say, if we haven't got three minutes, then we really need to be reassessing our life a little bit. So three minutes every day on each part of the face is all you need to do. Now with this one, I want you to just very slightly move across and this helps if you're feeling that you might be forming any lines in this area or this area. So really feel into your skin. Are there any areas which feel a little bit tense, a little bit tight, or you know you've got lines there? We're going to really work on boosting the circulation here. And just check back in with your breath as well. So you want to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Yes, exactly, Amanda. Arms aching now. So bring your arms down, shake it out. I love a bit of shaking as well. I always think this is so, so powerful for our body, for our life force energy, for our prana, for our chi. So give your arms a little break for a moment and just feel in already. We've just done two minutes on just that muscle there. Feel it already. How does it feel? Let me know. Do you feel already like the circulation's boosted, the energy's flowing, there's less tension there, maybe you feel the muscle more relaxed. It's really nice just to tune into how you're feeling. And if you want to sh excuse me, share any feedback with the chat, I love hearing that. Energy flowing, less tension, relaxed, yes. You might see some redness there, that's fine as long as it's not painful. Less tension and a warm feeling in the forehead. Yes, guys, I love that. Less tension, increased circulation, less tension, amazing, less stress, energy and warm feeling yay this is great love this well let's just move that now to our main part of our forehead and we will go back to that area between the eyebrows in a minute yes you can do these techniques twice or more a day absolutely so these gentle massage techniques i would say you could do one minute on each one and you could do it once or twice in a day so for example if you're using my new 21 day course with those three minute videos say you put on one of the forehead videos and you say okay well, i'm gonna do my three minutes now what you could then do is you could say okay i'm gonna put it on at the end of the day as well and do those three minutes again and that would be absolutely fine so you can really what i like to call pick a mix you can do it in a way that really suits you and also in that 21 day course you've got gua sha for the upper and the lower face crystal roller and using a teaspoon which i'm going to talk about in a minute which is such an easy and cheap and simple but effective tool for your face yes so diana says the bunny lines will eventually go down so these lines here yes those last two techniques we did diana are very very good for bunny lines and you can even go a little bit deeper into it there so what I'm doing here is relaxing our frontalis muscle. So that's our big muscle at the front of the forehead. So bring your arms down. Don't want you to ache your arms out too much. So what we're doing there was relaxing tension in that muscle. And what we tend to do is we tend to, when we're expressing, raise our eyebrows, create those horizontal lines here. And as we create those lines here, our eyes become smaller and they become saggy because we're not expressing enough with our eyes. We're not opening them up enough. And we tend to find we've got lines here. So these massages are so, so gentle, but so, so effective for your forehead. And we're gonna go a bit deeper now. So we're going to go like this. Yes, so nice for reducing headaches as well, absolutely. So just tune back into your breath, tune back into that feeling of being grounded. So with your feet flat on the floor and tune back into that length and feeling through your spine as well. 
and just allow yourself to focus on how your forehead's feeling. You're literally ironing out your forehead here. You're really bringing that fresh blood and oxygen up to your skin surface. So it's really helping to energize your forehead area as well. I love this one. So you only need to do one minute, once a day or twice a day, and it's so effective. Okay, then let's take our fingers, come here just between the two eyebrows, and you're just going to come up, smooth along, come to the temples, massaging the temples at the moment, and lift off. Then you're going to come up to the middle part of your forehead, come along and lift off, and then go up so you're smoothing lines here to the top of your forehead, come across and lift off. So we're taking that again. So we're going to go up through the middle, relax tension, come along any lines or tension here, massage just once on the acupressure point, coming up to the middle part of your forehead, focusing on your breath, lifting off, come up here to the top of your forehead, smoothing gently across and lifting off. Feels so good, doesn't it? So, so gentle, but so effective. And you'll really notice when you finish this masterclass later, how you're holding less tension in that area, but how you're expressing less with this area. So literally we are relaxing this muscle naturally. So that's the reason many people will go and get things like Botox for the forehead area. And maybe many of you have done that or do do that. And you'll know the reason you do that is to actually soften and relax the muscle here. But you can do that so easily naturally with face yoga. And I would say if you have had anything like Botox in this area in the last couple of weeks, you won't want to massage it too much. It's best to wait a few weeks before you really get into the massage. Oh, I love that Deb said, my forehead is vibrating. Amanda says, feels so much good. So in terms of pressure, I want you to be quite intuitive with it. I don't want you to think that going deeper and harder is gonna get better results. In these cases of the forehead, that's not true. Actually, it's more about signifying to the muscle that you want it to let go and you want it to relax. Now, when you want to let go and relax something, you don't push and force, you surrender a little bit. So try and take that approach whilst you're doing it. Okay, so we're just going to do now a little bit of, um, well, it's eye yoga really, but it's also helping the forehead area. So what you're going to do is you've got a choice. If you've got a very expressive forehead, I would say use two hands to keep your forehead still for this. If you only sort of raise your eyebrows a little bit, just use one hand. And if you're super used to doing eye yoga, you don't even need to use a forehead unless you want to. So I'm gonna use two for a moment just to demonstrate here, particularly for anyone that's quite new to this technique. So this is keeping your forehead still. We don't want to raise the eyebrows at all here. And you're going to start simply by looking up towards the ceiling and down towards the floor. So up, and down. Now I want you to focus on your breath here. So just take another long deep breath through your nose and an exhale through your nose and just make that exhalation longer than the inhalation. Just really enjoy that up and down movement. Now notice here, are your eyebrows lifting at all? If they are lifting, you need a little bit more force with your hands. If you can go up and down without your eyebrows lifting at all, then just do that. And just breathe nice and deeply. And just to say as well, in your 21 day course, you've got lots of these techniques I'm teaching now, but you've also got plenty. We're only gonna be doing the forehead and eye area today, but you've obviously got loads for the cheek and mouth and jaw and loads for the neck area and the head and facial tools as well. And don't forget just for this week it's only 28 pound which is so cheap it's like the price of two yoga classes and you've got the videos for life 21 videos for life okay i want you to go side to side now and you may want to bring your hands down particularly if they're a bit achy now and what we're doing here is we're strengthening and toning the muscle around the eye so the orbicularis oculi muscle so it's like a ring muscle that goes around the eye we're also energizing inside the eyes and we're also strengthening and toning lots and lots of the muscles and nerves in the eye. Now, 
focus on a point in front of you. There's a bit more I want to tell you about the eye yoga in a moment, but focus on a point in front of you. Make those eyes as wide as you can. You might look a little bit scary as you're doing it like I am, but do not worry. No one can see you here. It's only me that's looking silly with it. Open the eyes wide. And if you want to keep your forehead still to make sure you don't raise your eyebrows, you can do that with your hands. Focus on that point. Really looking forward. I'm going to look slightly upwards here, just so I'm not looking directly at the screen as I do this. And then I'm just going to close my eyes gently. And then when you're ready, open up your eyes. So those eye movements are really good for eye strain, reducing lines around the eye area, retraining the eyes to be used for expressions more and less the forehead area. And also there's more and more studies coming out at the moment about how eye movements can actually be beneficial for our brain health and longevity of our brain as well. So, so many benefits to doing really simple eye yoga exercises. Okay, I'm so glad you feel relaxed already. Amazing. So I'm just going to answer the other question here. Um, let me have a little look. Nova saying, Danielle, do you recommend doing massage techniques at one point in the day and exercise at another point or do you do them together? Do them together, Nova. That's what I'd recommend. And that's what I've done again in the 21 day course. I've just literally done each area of the face. So for example, you've got two different videos for the forehead area, two for the eyes, two for the cheeks, the mouth, two for the mouth, two for the jaw, two for the neck, different exercises in each of the videos. And there's a combination of exercises and massage in there. And then you've also got six videos in there, which are gua sha, crystal rollers and teaspoon for the upper and lower face too. Okay, so I really want to focus on lifting the eyebrow area now. So hooded eyes is something that many, many people ask about. And it's actually great to see in the chat earlier how many of you have seen results of doing these regularly. So remember the key is to absolutely keep it up regularly. The key is also to work to your own level with these techniques as well. So if anything feels uncomfortable, of course, just stop and rest. What we're going to do is this is the only exercise I ever do where I'll allow you to have a little temporary crease in this area. Everything else, I say, keep the rest of the face really smooth. But for this one, you'll see why. So you bring your fingers just here and here underneath your eyebrows and you very slightly lift up. So can you see I'm just creating a little bit of a crease here as I do it? But don't worry, we'll smooth that in a moment. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to close the eyes gently against the resistance of my fingers to the point I feel a little shake or a little pulse. So play around with it so you feel that shake or that pulse. And you're going to hold there for 10 seconds. So breathing deeply in and out through the nose. Five, four, three, two, one. Open your eyes, release already. You can see that the eyebrows have lifted in that area. Very quick results with this technique. So you're going to do the same thing again. Lift up, try and make them equal. If you can use a mirror for these techniques, you can. And then holding, feel that shape. Hold against the resistance of your fingers. So this is a bit of a stronger exercise than the massage we've done. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. I think we'll do that just one more time. And I can see, because I'm not using a mirror this one, I'm sort of pulling this one up slightly more. So I definitely would say you want to use a mirror and you want to check that you're very gently lifting both eyebrows the same amount as each other. Close the eyes, feel for that shake. Five, four, three, two, one, open your eyes, then release your fingers, then close your eyes and just take a deep, long breath. Then when you're ready, open your eyes, so effective for lifting. And what I'd love you to do is just do this smoothing again that we did with the forehead, just to smooth out any little lines that you may have found that were created through that exercise. So generally as a rule with face yoga, I say always use a mirror and check that no lines are ever created with any technique. So always adjust your hand position, 
or adjust the amount of effort you're putting to each one to make sure that you're not seeing any lines being formed. You always want the rest of the face to be smooth as you're doing an exercise. This is the only one I let you, that lifting of the eyebrow one, it's the only one which I say it's okay just for those, well, it's about 30 seconds to a minute that you're doing it because you can just smooth those little temporary lines, but you really need that just to help that lifting sensation there. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna have a little, little look at your question before we go on to our next few exercises. The 21 day course is all video. So it's going to be me guiding you through. So 21 three minute videos that you can do either in 21 days and keep repeating every 21 days, or you can just dip in and out of it when you like, or you can say, for example, I want to do the three minute net video with the three minute cheat video and the uh, three minute upper face with a teaspoon video today. So you can like pick a mix like that, but it's all a video based learning and only 28 pound for what for just for this week, but you've got a video for life. Um, so it's just like a special offer for you guys. So Donna says, should your tongue be resting on your upper palate with your mouth closed? Yes, please, Donna, if you can do that, that's amazing. Best position for your tongue, lips closed, breathing deeply in and out through your nose. Giovanna says, when you move the eyes side to side, do you close your eyes between one side and the other? You don't need to, you can just literally move side to side like that, make it like as though you're going along a nice smooth line. Um, let's have a little look. Um, Sarah says, Danny, I have thyroid disease, which caused my eyes to be a bit bulging and puffy. Will face yoga be able to help? I would definitely say, just check with your doctor that they're okay for you to do it. What it will do is it will help to reduce some of the puffiness as you work, particularly with the lymphatic drainage techniques, which you'll see in the 21 day course there. And also it will help to take down any inflammation as well. But I always say for any medical condition, just check with the doctor. Um, so where are you supposed to feel the shake on that one, Charlotte, is you close the eyes. I'm going to try and come close. Tell me if you can see where I'm feeling the shake. So just around this area here. Um, Paula says, my eyebrows are always crooked, but now they look the same. Yay, that's amazing. Um, Martina says, I've had 11 lines for 20 years. Is there hope? Absolutely. You need to be doing it every day, Martina, I'd absolutely say but there absolutely is never too late. And this is the thing to remember with face yoga, it's never too late to start. You can always strengthen the muscle. You can always boost the circulation. You can always help the lymphatic drainage. You can always relax stress related lines in that area. Okay, so now we've done that lifting, I'm gonna show you another lifting technique for the eyebrows. So two fingers and thumb, you're going to start just here and here. So I want you to be able to see, I'm gonna come super close here. So I'm here and then I'm here. And I'm gonna start off just wiggling here. So just follow along with me here. This is really going to help release tension between your eyebrows and just focus back on your breath. And if you can, just go back to your intention that you set at the beginning of the class as well. It's always nice just to tune in with that intention. Our mind is so powerful in terms of how it's going to really help our face and our skin. So we're then just going to pinch across nice and gently and then lifting off. So we're gonna take that again, breathing deeply. Hi Anne, no problem at all that you're joining late. Just when you're ready, join in with us with the techniques. Um, Adil says, yes, I have a YouTube channel. I do, it's called The Face Yoga Expert. So you're just pinching across and lifting off and taking that again, so pinching off and lifting off. So what to is a great question. You don't want to stretch the skin as you're doing this. You want to think about going down into the muscles. So I'm pinching down into the muscles. So if I was pulling out, I'd be like this. Can you see the difference there, how I'm stretching the skin? But what I'm actually doing is I'm pinching down into the muscles. So that's the difference there. So we're gonna take that again. Thank you, that's a great question, Teresa there. Think about going down to the muscle because what you're doing is encouraging the muscle muscle to gently lift, to gently, um, to gently tone and to release a little bit of that tension as well. So another nice, really good technique for helping reduce um, hooded eye area. 
Okay, so let's do a little bit of work around our eyes now. So let's do a little bit of what I call lymphatic drainage for the, this area. Now, lymphatic drainage is about working with the body's lymphatic system. So the body's lymphatic system is the um, detox system or the garbage removal system. And it's really about getting rid of any toxins or dullness or puffiness or discoloration in our skin. Now, we have lots of lymph vessels and then lymph Lympho nodes in our face area and what I like to do before I work the eye air and we are already working upper face today is actually just help to open those lymph vessels and those lymph nodes so this is the only thing we're going to do when we're working this lower part of the face today but don't worry like I said the the 21 day course works all of the face it's just we're focusing on upper face today in this master class so you're going to just take two fingers behind and two fingers in front of your ears and I just want you to do a little wiggle here just to start to open those lymph vessels before we do our eye lymphatic drainage because we're really going to work on reducing puffiness and dark circles in that area focus on your breathing inhale and exhale and then gently come down just a couple of times two behind two in front and one more time, coming gently down and just gently pulse. Pulsing on those lymph nodes. It's just really going to help that detoxing that we're going to do in a moment. OK, so what I'd love for you to do now is take your two. I'm going to come a bit closer to show you here. You're going to take your two ring fingers. You're going to come underneath your eyebrows and then underneath your eyes. So gently round under your eyebrows and under your eyes. So really focusing on your breath as you do this. Try not to drag the skin here. And you can see here, I'm almost looks like I'm not even moving the skin. And that's the right thing to do because what you don't want to do is you don't want to drag or pull the skin. This area around the eyes, this skin around the eyes is about 10 times thinner than the skin in the rest of the face. So it's really, really delicate. And if you start pulling it, you're really going to cause lots of sagginess under the skin. So very, very gentle touch because the lymphatic system is just under the skin surface. So you don't want to go as far down as the muscle and this is helping to drain any toxins and help to drain any excess fluids around this area so just focus again on your breath take a long deep breath in and out lovely and then just come into this lovely little acupressure point here just pressing into this area nice and gently and then just circle in this area. So really nice acupressure point for helping to release tension in the eyes, reduce tired eyes, headaches. And you can just massage in both directions here. It's a very good one if you struggle to sleep as well. It's a good one to do just before bed at night. And yes, I'm just looking at the comments here. Um, Prathima says, can you tap around the area? We're going to do that in a minute. So that particular movement there was working the lymphatic drainage. So what I'd love to do now with you is show you how to boost the circulation. So we're going to take this and then the other way. So we're going to do both ways. So we're going one way and then we're going the other way for the circulation. So Suzanne, with this one, we want to go here to where we're able to drain all the way around. So I'm just going back to the other one. So we're going into here. So that's really the way you want to go for your lymphatic drainage. But you also want to do your circulation. So you're going both ways with that. You're going around one way and then round the other way. And this is really going to help to brighten the skin. Again, it's going to help to reduce any puffiness or dark circles in this area as well. Nice deep breaths. Wonderful. Okay, just bring your hands down for a moment. And then we're going to do a really lovely technique for helping to strengthen the toe 
this part of your muscle. So this is called your orbicularis oculi muscle that runs around here. We're going to work particularly with this bit here. So we're going to take two fingers between your eyebrows. You're going to take your index finger to your outer edge of the eye. And we're going to do another one where you want to feel for the little shake or the little pulse. So you're going to half close your eyes, feel for the little shake or the little pulse. If you can see it here as I do it. Hold for three, two, one, release, and then take that again. Half close the eyes, three, two, one. Feel for the shake or the pulse. If you need to adjust your finger position slightly, or you need to slightly close your eyes a little bit less or a little bit more, you can do. Let's do that again. Half close the eyes, five, four, three, two, one. And this time you're going to close the eyes tight shut. Again, adjust your position or adjust how much you're closing your eyes to the point where you feel the shake. When you feel the shake, you want to feel the muscles contracting and relaxing. That's how they're going to build in um, tone and firmness. And that's how they're going to smooth the skin attached. Hold there for another five, four, three, two, one. Keep your eyes closed, release your hands, give them a shake if you want to. Bring your hands into your lap as you take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Lovely. How are you feeling so far? Tell me how your eyes are feeling and your forehead are feeling because all we're doing here is really simple one minute techniques. We're only working two parts of the I am um, two parts of the face here, but actually by working two parts of the face, you're doing so many things. You're boosting the blood circulation, you're strengthening the muscles, you're relaxing tension in that area. You're helping with what we call in yoga, the prana or in traditional Chinese medicine, we call it chi. It's that life force energy. And when that life force energy is very stagnant or blocked, it can cause anything from pain to headaches to lines and wrinkles in the face. It can cause, um, um, lack of glow in the skin so this is all waking it all up and energizing it um, let's have a little look at what you're saying oh everyone's saying relaxing lovely <laughs> ready for a nap wide and relaxed refreshed amazing um oh megan let me just tell you about that one again in a minute so you understand that one and um, christine said you've been using your computer for a few hours so it's nice to release the tension relaxed Kathy likes the last exercise. Amazing. Bernice says both areas feel smooth and less tense. Um, this is amazing, guys. I love, love, love that you love this. OK, so don't worry with this exercise here, with this feed. Don't worry if you don't feel. Can you see how I'm shaking here? It's hard to see on Zoom. I know. Hopefully you can see. Don't worry if you don't feel that shake at first. If you're quite new to this exercise, sometimes it takes a little while for the muscles to get used to be exercised in this way, for them to fire up. So keep playing around with it and practicing it. Sometimes you need to bend your fingers slightly. You want to put less pressure with this one than with this one. This one can be quite a bit of pressure. This is going to be quite light pressure. And then sort of adjust your, your shaking. Sometimes it can be half closed, so everything becomes a bit blurry. Sometimes it's a little bit more. Just have a play around with it and you'll start to feel it. Ginny Steph, love, this is an all natural approach. Yes, we're all about the all natural approach. And this doesn't mean that we're not inclusive for anyone that chooses to do uh, invasive routes as well. You know, it really is just about finding what's right for you but yes I like the all natural approach this is this is what I like teaching um but definitely you know I'm so pro-choice so never ever ever feel that you can't come to face yoga if you do have like fillers or Botox or you've had facelift or anything like that you know it really is for everyone okay so next thing we are going to do is we are going to wake up the eyes a little bit more with one of my favorite techniques the flirty eyes now some of you may have done this maybe if you've done my teacher training course you'll know this one maybe if you've got my first book danielle collins face yoga um you'll know this one but it's so much fun you feel a bit silly doing it but what it does is it helps to reduce hollows under the eyes it helps to lift the eyebrow area you're also getting a little bit of toning around the mouth as well. And you want to try and keep your forehead really still as you're doing this. So you're going to bring your fingers like this. You're going to make your mouth into an O shape. And you look up and you flutter your upper eyelid. So you go like this. And don't worry if you laugh with this one, guys. 
So we're going to try and do that for about 30 seconds together. Keep that going, keep making that O shape. That helps to engage underneath the eyes a little bit better. Keep that going for 10, 9, 8, 4, 2, and relax. Well done. Uh, Fred Reed says, this is hard. Yes. Diana says, if I do Botox my forehead, how long do I wait until I do the exercise? So I would definitely recommend, Diana, that you wait two to three weeks before you do any deeper massage on areas that you've had Botox on. Also, have a chat to your doctor who administers the Botox and just ask how long they recommend before you do any massage or exercise on that area, because it really will also depend on how much they administer and in what areas of the face. But you could, for example, so say you were, they were doing something like the 21 day course. If you did get Botox on your forehead area, there's no reason why you couldn't still do your cheek or your forehead or your neck area whilst you're waiting those sort of between two to, to four weeks it usually is before you should work on that area um everyone's saying that one's a bit tough that one yeah it's tiring and some of the exercises will feel tiring because what you're doing is you're exercising or working out the muscles so same as if i was making you do exercises for the arm area you get tired fatigue muscles but this is good this is how the muscles build in strength they build in tone so sometimes the exercises will feel a little bit like that absolutely Okay, so um, Gabriella says in the last one, where do you want to feel the um, feel the exercise working? So you want to feel it working here, a little bit here and around your mouth. But again, if you're new to face yoga, don't worry if you're not feeling the right muscles fire up at the right time. Give it two or three times and you'll really feel that it works effectively. Okay, so we're just going to do another eye movement now. Now, these eye movements are so good. They seem really simple. They've been taught in yoga for thousands of years and they're so good, particularly for reducing crow's feet lines. And as I said, for helping to smooth the forehead area. So place your hands here and then you are just going to look up towards the ceiling and then you are going to imagine you're looking at 12 o'clock on a clock face. So your hand here is to keep this area still. If you know that you don't need it, you can bring it down. Then you're going to go across and say you're looking at one o'clock on a clock face then two o'clock, then across to three o'clock, down to four o'clock, five o'clock, down to six o'clock, go across and so you're looking to seven, eight, across to nine, 10, 11, up to 12, and then we're gonna go in the other direction. So we're going to go 11, we're going to go 10, nine, eight, seven, down to six, five, four, three, two, one, up to 12 again. Focus on a point in front of you. Keep your eyes as still as possible whilst you keep your forehead really still with your hands. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. And just bring your hands gently down. Okay, so what I would love to do now is a couple of quick acupressure points for the upper face. And then I want to show you how lifting your head can help to really lift the upper face area naturally. So what we're going to do, I'm gonna keep an eye on the time, we're doing fine for time. So this is why guys, we're just working this area of the face today because I knew that last time we tried to fit in far too much. So if we were doing the whole face today, we just wouldn't fit it in. But because the 21 day course has the whole face in and because it's just such great value for, for this week only, then I know that um, you can do all of these techniques anytime. So what we're going to do is we're going to do here and here and we are just going to press this point. And I want you to take one deep breath as we press each point. So you're going to breathe in and breathe out. Then between your eyebrows, breathe in, breathe out. When you're coming above your pupils, you're going to breathe in and breathe out. It's going to come to the inner core of the eye. So each one's having different health and wellness benefits as well as aesthetic benefits here. Breathe in, breathe out. 
come underneath your eye, breathe in, breathe out. Come here and here, breathe in, breathe out. Come top of the forehead and breathe out. Good, so that's a very quick tour of acupressure points. But every acupressure point has a deeper benefit for our health and our well-being, for our body and our mind, as well as really focusing on boosting, <coughs> excuse me, boosting circulation around that area. Excuse me, I'm just going to have a drink of water. OK, so let's do a little bit of head massage now. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to Cherry, there are some acupressure points in the program. Um, it's mostly the 21 day program focused on facial exercise, facial massage. It's also focused on some facial relaxation. And then you've got videos of using a teaspoon, using a gua sha and using crystal roller. So you've got all of that in there. So not huge amounts of acupressure in there, but little acupressure points throughout it. Okay, so I want you to take all of your fingers and you're going to tap on your head area, coming down towards your ears, and then you're going to come back and lifting off. So then you're going to come all the way down the back and lifting off. So straight away, just tune in to how your head is feeling. We've literally done that for about 10 seconds. Just notice how it's feeling. It feels already energized. feels like you've woken everything up. And I'm going to talk to you a bit more about the benefits of this head massage in a minute. So we're going to come down. And again, yes, you have a one of your three minute videos in your 21 day course has head massage in. And I keep saying 21 day because that is the name of it. But you don't have to do it over 21 days if you don't want to. As I said, you can do two or three of the days in one day or you can do three over three days and take a break for a couple of days. It's entirely up to you. And you're gonna come all the way down and lifting off. Okay, let's do that one more time and I'll talk to you a bit more about the benefit of doing this. Lifting up, coming all the way down. Yes, Amanda, the 21 day course will have different exercises, the ones taught tonight and a few the same as well. So it's a whole combination. But of course, tonight we're just working this area, whereas the 21 day course is working the entire face area plus facial tools as well for um, six of the videos, six out of the 21 videos. OK, so what we're doing by just pummeling the skull like that, in fact, let's just do a few more whilst we're chatting a little bit quicker. So we're boosting the blood circulation here. We're working with that life force energy, that prana or that chi. We're just getting everything moving here. Also, when we release tension from the head, these muscles are attached to these muscles. So by releasing tension in the head, you're instantly going to release tension here and you're less likely to create those expression lines here and here and hold stress and tension in this area, which is going to cause dull skin tone. So never underestimate the beauty and aesthetic benefits of doing head massage. And then you're going to take your fingers and this is where we're going to get messy hair. So you're just going to take your fingers and you're going to smooth backwards and you're going to come down your scalp and lift off. So you're going to smooth backwards. Sherry, yes, the 21 day program does work the neck. You've got two very focused videos on the neck area. You've got two very focused um videos on your jaw area as well, which of course is really important, particularly for working this area, for reducing sort of double chin and sagging around the turkey neck area as well. So yes, it's got that as well. And as you do this, I know Geraldine's saying, has anyone had improved hair growth with this head massage? People have been using this particularly, and if there's anyone here today from India, I'm sure you can tell me even better that I can tell you. It's very, very common, particularly in Ayurveda and in yoga and Indian head massage, to do this very regularly for our hair growth because you're stimulating the hair follicles in the scalp area. So it can really help you to have healthier hair. Now, what I want you to think about doing now in terms of eyebrow and forehead lifting is do a, like a lifting upwards. So you're going like this, 
you're lifting up, you're lifting up. Can you see straight away there how my face is looking loads more lifted and you're releasing the tension. So we are lifting the muscles as we go in and then we're going gently down. So gently coming up. Yes, champion in India, I love that. Amazing. And then we're coming down. Okay, and then I want you to take all your fingers. This is where we're gonna get really messy hair. As though you're shampooing your hair. And as you do this, I want you to think about lifting. So again, can you see here how as I lift my scalp, it's lifting and smoothing my upper face as well. Oh, Erin, I'm so glad this is helping with your migraine. Try and focus on your breathing as well in through your nose and out through your nose. It will help so much. What I'm going to show you in a minute is how to go to the back of the scalp, which is so good, again, for releasing tension. Remember, everything is connected. So all the muscles in the face, all of these 57 muscles, all connected to this area here. So then what I want you to do, and I'm going to turn around, if you can see me as I turn around here, I'm going to just place the thumbs and just come under my scalp here, right at the base of my skull, and just circle around. Hopefully you can hear me and see me as I'm doing this okay. Coming around and lifting off. So taking that again, gently circling the base of the skull, releasing some of that tension. Brenda, I'm doing quite a bit here of pressure actually, particularly in the base of my skull with my thumbs here, but really be intuitive. Do what is right for you. I'm ready. Um, in terms of how long, so give your arms a shake, guys, because your arms will feel a bit uncomfortable. Do some shoulder rolls here as well. So in terms of how long we're going to do each exercise is about one minute each. So in the 21 day program, you've got each one is just three minute videos working a key area of the face. And you do three exercises per video. So it's about one minute each. And then just roll the other way. I have lovely hair. Thank you so much. That's very sweet of you to say. Sherry says, you have beautiful, bright, authentic energy. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Karina, no problem at all. You can catch up the rest later. Okay, so let me talk to you about some facial tools, actually. If you've got a teaspoon, run to your kitchen and get one now. If you don't, just watch what I do here. And you've got an upper face and a lower face video in the 21 day program. But I'm just going to show you what you can do with a teaspoon. Now, a teaspoon is a quite unusual tool, I know, but I really love it because it's naturally very, very cooling on the skin. So it's very good for reducing puffiness under the eyes. So you can keep it in the fridge. So what I'm using is you can see I'm using the back here of it. You can keep it in the fridge or you can get it straight out the drawer because it's naturally cool. It will warm up the heat of your skin, but it really has that chirotherapy effect. So this is going to naturally take down any puffiness in the skin because of the cooling effect of it. And you can't completely reduce or close, <coughs> excuse me, open pores. But if you're using cold therapy, even in the form of a cold teaspoon, you can temporarily reduce the appearance of pores as well. So Pamela, how do you purchase 21 day course? On my website, faceyogaexpert.com. I'm gonna ask Marie just to put the link straight away here now, um, Pamela, and it, she'll put it to everybody and then you can see it and you can just click straight through um, or you can just go to faceyogaexpert.com and just click on courses. I'll also send you the link straight after, the, um, straight after this as well. So we're just going to do here a little bit of massage with a spoon as well. It's super simple. I'm only going to do this for a few minutes because I know many of you won't have a spoon on you at the moment. But I love doing this just again to help with that lymphatic drainage. And then are we massaging the occipital bone in the last exercise? Yes, Paula, you are. And this is going to soften those number 11 lines. So of course you can use your fingers. Go back to using your fingers, guys, if you haven't got a spoon on you at the moment but I just love using a spoon. It just has that cooling effect as well. And Amanda, yes, you can do exercise afterwards. Um, you, don't have to, um, you don't have to not do any exercise for the body afterwards. I mean, obviously if you're sweating, if you've done lots of massage, you might find your skin goes redder. So ideally you would do heavy exercise before um, you do all your face yoga, but there's no rule at all. You can do, do exercise after, it's not a problem at all. 
Um, okay, so I'm just going to show you, and I'm going to very quickly, I know I'm not working the rest of the face at the moment, but I'm just going to show you the things that you can do with a teaspoon. And this is all in the 21 day course. It will show you how to do upper face and lower face, but you can really help your skin look glowing. You can release tension. You can work with lymphatic drainage as well. So I love using a teaspoon, a super easy tool. I'm just going to quickly tell you about two other tools as well. Gua Sha, so this is a clear quartz Gua Sha. It's called the Master Healer, um, but you can use any Gua Sha when you do the 21 day course. And this is really nice for the upper face. So you can really work with getting deeper into the skin than with your fingers. You can really work on reducing puffiness. You can do acupressure points on it. So that's a great tool. And I also love rollers as well. So I might just quickly tell you actually about the, the three differences between the crystal benefits. Um, cause I always think that's just really useful. And cause this is a masterclass day. We've got time to just learn about some of the crystal healing benefits. So Jade, I would say that Jade, whether you're using it as a gua sha or a roller, Jade is a beautiful um, tool and a beautiful crystal for any point in the day. So if you want like a, a good all round crystal roller, I would say go for Jade because you can use it morning and evening. And it's naturally a stone which is very renowned for helping to lift the face and it has anti-aging benefits. And I don't like that word anti-aging as I'm sure you probably gather by now, but it's really, really lovely for helping the skin to look naturally more youthful. Rose quartz crystal. Now, if you're trying to decide on a crystal that's best for you, this is when I would go for rose quartz. So I've used rose quartz if my skin is a bit more sensitive, if I want to do my massage a bit more in the morning. So whether you're using a roller or a rose quartz gua sha and you know you're going to be doing it in the morning, pick rose quartz because it's a crystal which is very renowned for the morning. It's also very good if your skin's a little bit mature, so over 40, and I'm in that category as well. Um, or it's very nice for teenage skin as well. It can be very, very soothing crystal. And then a clear quartz crystal. So I love a clear quartz gratia. It's a very renowned crystal for the evening. So the evening time is the time when you want to use this healing crystal because it's very good for helping to reduce any, I haven't got enough, of my serum on under my eyes here so you need a, quite a bit of glide with this one it's very very good if your skin looks or feels very stressed it really is renowned for helping you to heal and particularly good for the evening so what i think we need to do now is go through a few of your guys questions i'm going to do that i just want you for a moment before we do that just to ground yourself back down again. So just bring your feet flat on the floor, just close your eyes, and I just want you to take another deep breath. And as you breathe, I want you to tune in to your upper face, so to your forehead, to your head, and to your eye area. And I want you just to notice how that area feels. We've only worked on that part of the face today, but just notice, maybe you're more aware of the energy in that area. Maybe there's still a bit of tension you want to just let go of now. And just go back to your intention you set before you started doing your face yoga. And just notice if you're either some way or the full way towards just fulfilling that intention. And I want you just to place your hands onto your heart center and just thank yourself just for what you've done so far. We're not even finished yet, but just thanking yourself for all you've done for your face so far. And when you're ready, just open your eyes. So what I'm going to do for you now, guys, is I'm going to answer a few of your questions. I'm going to bring my slides back up, but then we're going to do something very powerful, which is some really deep affirmations with our breath, which are really beneficial for our skin. And I'm a really, really big fan of affirmations. I just absolutely love them. And it's going to make a really, really big difference. So. Let me answer some of your questions for a moment because I know there's so many here that's gonna help everyone, particularly when we're talking about tools or the upper face. 
Okay, so um, Brenda says, do you know if putting your face in cold seawater, I cold plunge each morning is good for your face and your skin? Cold water therapy has had many, many benefits. So if you're able to go cold water swimming and it works well for you, then absolutely do that. I must admit I'm not brave enough to go cold water swimming, but I also don't have anywhere near me that I could go you know, out in, in nature and do that every day. But Brenda, absolutely, if that feels good for you, then, then do it. Sarah says, are tools better than using our own hands? Now, Sarah, what I would say is if you were to ask me, I would say always go for hands first. I just believe our hands can do everything that we want to. But I think it just adds a bit of variety and it also often gets a, a different angle for our face by using a tool. So for example, if you're using a gua sha, you can go a bit deeper, you can boost the circulation a bit better. If you're using a roller, you're getting the crystal benefits, so you're getting crystal healing benefits for your skin. You're also just giving yourself literally something tangible, which is going to motivate you to do a little bit of um, massage a little bit more regularly. Um, the, the spoon, I really, really love a spoon. Super, super simple. But what this is doing, which your hands can't, is it's got that cold effect on the skin. So it's therefore helping to naturally reduce that puffiness. So I'd always say hands first, but add some tools. It keeps it interesting. It keeps you motivated. Yes, Geraldine, ice globe instead of a spoon. Absolutely. So if you do the 21 day course, the two, um, the two videos, the two three minute videos that are in there that are using a spoon, if you want to switch that up and use an ice globe, absolutely. Um, let me have a look. I, I had to leave, but I bought the 21 day course. Thank you, Audrey. I hope you enjoy it. Gua Sha is better cold, I would say. It doesn't need to be ice cold. It will naturally be cold anyway at room temperature. I keep my room temperature and that's pretty cold on my skin. But if you want to keep it in the fridge, particularly in the summer, that's quite nice. Um, Suzanne, we are free shipping around the world, even from the US. So you don't need to pay any extra for that. So we make sure that we keep it free shipping for everybody. Um, Sherry says, I think I've been using my roller roughly. Do we just gently roll it across the skin without too much pressure? Yes, be gentle with it. Um, did the video and sound cut out there? I don't know, Sharon, hopefully not. I'm hoping you can all still hear me. Um, there's a question here, I've got the jade. And then should you get the clear or rose roller? Absolutely, just use the jade, that's fine. If you, I like, I generally use both. I tend to use this one in the morning or if my skin's quite sensitive, I tend to use this one, sort of, whether it be throughout the day or the evening, um, but you can use either one. Um, clear quartz crystal, Diana, is this what this one's called? Um, let me have a little look. Um, let me see any other questions. No, I'm not doing any courses in Bath at the moment, I'm afraid. Um, so many more questions, but I think we should do a few affirmations because I know some of you are going to have to go in a minute. Um, Sharon says forehead is tingling. Um, Diana, if you want to use ice cubes on the face, pop them in something first and so never use an ice cube directly on your skin. It can damage your skin. Roll it up in something like a muslin cloth and then you can use it on the skin. Okay, so let's do some affirmations and then I'll answer some more questions. Okay, so what I want you to do is just take a moment, just close your eyes and focus again on your breath. So breathing in and out through the nose. Now, the reason we're going to do some affirmations here is it's just going to help to seal in all the positive work we've done for our upper face here. We're also going to help our mind to feel calm. It's going to help us to sleep better. It's going to help us to manifest good things for our skin, for our face, for our life, for our mind, body, soul. It's also going to help to replace any negative thoughts we're feeling with positive ones. So as you say the positive ones, even if it feels as you do it, like you are maybe questioning or it doesn't feel real, it doesn't matter. Remember, simply by saying these words, either in your mind or out loud, it's going to have a positive effect. So we're going to do it with the breath. So each time I say the word, I want you to repeat it to yourself with the breath in your mind or out loud. So let's have a go now. So breathe in, relaxation. Breathe out, tension. Breathe in, 
positivity. Breathe out negativity. Breathe in energy. Breathe out fatigue. Breathe in abundance. Breathe out lack. Breathe in authenticity. Breathe out fear. Breathe in peace. Breathe out stress. Breathe in happiness. Breathe out sadness. Breathe in being enough. Breathe out not being enough. Take a breath, sealing all those thoughts and feelings. And in a moment, you're going to open your eyes. We're just going to do a couple more face yoga moves to energize the whole face. And then I'm gonna answer some more questions. So open your eyes slowly and gently now. If your hands are still nice and clean, we're just gonna do a little bit of tapping over the whole face. This is just really nice for energizing and waking up the face. You can just do it up and down. This is also a really lovely one that you can do whenever you've applied some skincare. It just helps the skincare just to penetrate deeper into the skin. And I know we're just focusing on forehead and eyes and head area today but I just want to do a couple so the whole of your face feels really nice as you finish. Okay and then just take this part of your thumb here and here so that squishy part at the base of your thumb and just do little circular motions all the way over your skin so all the way around your jaw all the way around your cheeks, up to your forehead area, all the way over until your hands meet and take that again. So let's just energize the whole of your face, release tension in your jaw, all the way over your cheeks, waking up your cheeks, boosting that circulation, come all the way up now to your forehead. Then just inhale, tense your hands, tense your face. And then you exhale, stick out your tongue, open your eyes wide, open your hands. Two more just to energize your skin. One more time. Lovely, let me know how you're feeling how you felt from the affirmations. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the 21 day course, just for about two or three minutes. And then I'm gonna go through so many of your amazing questions. So the course is about getting great results in 21 days for a lifting and glowing face in just three minutes a day. So you've got three minute face yoga videos for forehead, eyes, cheeks, mouth, jaw and neck. And we're using facial massage, facial exercise, acupressure, gua sha, crystal roller, spoon massage and wellness techniques so it's just 28 pounds you've got the course for life you can do it as many times as you like you can repeat it do every three weeks you can do a few videos each day um and it can really be for you for life and if you have done my seven day courses it's a great compliment to it um and this is a little bit about what's included, which I'll let you look through in your own time. This is what you get on each of the days, but you get all the days up front, by the way. So if you want to sort of sit down tomorrow and go through all of the videos, you can do that. Or you can purchase it today and while it's at the great price of £28 and start it next month. It's entirely up to you. I also put an introduction video in there as well with helpful tips and guidelines for getting the best results. So honestly, for £28, it is so much value in there. And that's something which I've really sort of focused on doing this year is how much value can I give you guys and how can I really help you to feel empowered with your own skin 
for such a good value price. So it's almost becomes like a no brainer. You know, you can just think to yourself, I'm just going to get this, see what happens. And actually what happens most of the time is you then just become obsessed by face yoga and just absolutely love it. So um, the early bird offer is on for just one week. So just between now and this time next Tuesday. So I'm going to send you an email straight after this with the link to it. So you can just click through and buy it. And I'll send you a few reminders about it as well. Um, let me have a little, little look at some of your questions. I know about 100 questions here, so I will get through as many as I can. Bernice, hope you enjoy the 21 day course. Thank you for getting it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm just having a look. Debbie says, thanks, Danielle. I really enjoyed the evening. Are there new exercises on the 21 day course which are not included in this course? Absolutely. Um, oh, and you, you said in the instructor's course. So I think you mean the teacher training course. Yes, there are as well, because you've got gua sha in there crystal rollers and you've got spoons so you've got plenty of things oh i'm so glad you're enjoying it all guys this is such lovely feedback amazing 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 uh, martina says should she do any facial treatments after the exercises now okay so martina what i would say is if you've um, applied something to your skin whilst you've done your massage you don't need to do anything else today you're all done um, if you think maybe you've been doing it with like the hands not clean or you put like a heavier oil on that you want to wash off, you could just go and wash your face and do your usual skincare. But if you use something like the Fusion by Daniel Collins Moisturising Serum, just keep that on and you're done for the night. You don't need to, to do anything else. Obviously, if you're going out in the daytime now, you're living somewhere else in the world that isn't dark, cold UK here, you may want to put your SPF or your makeup on as well. Um, yay, so glad you're buying the course. Sharon says buying the course. Yay, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, feel rested and sleepy now, Gillian says. Amazing. Um, Yes, so um, Shalina, the 21 day course does have different exercises from that other course. Absolutely, it does from that 10 day course. So it's different exercises in there, um, works on different parts of the face in different ways. You've also got your gua sha, crystal roller and spoon massage in there, which isn't included in any of my other courses. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Um, mouth exercises for laugh lines. Yes, that is in the course as well. Um, Teresa says, what's the best technique for stubborn nasal labial folds? I would definitely get into the habit of doing massage with two fingers onto your jaw. Get one finger and smooth up to your nose area. Do that for one minute one side, one minute the other side, and just get into the habit of doing that once or twice a day. Um, Sherry says, did you say teacher training course? Yes, we often accredited teacher training course. We've been offering this for about 12 years now, actually. Um, so Marie will put the link for you, um, Sherry, if you just have a little look at that. Um, it's also all on my website as well. And this fully qualifies you to teach face yoga to groups and individuals online or in person anywhere in the world. And you can do it all in self-study. And then you can spend time doing a Zoom call for your practical class, which you do either with myself or one of our students for trainers um one-to-one -one as well um let's have a look um joseph says you do my daily on course that's fine this is different um it's more up to date it's more refreshed this 21 day course it's also got the um upper face and lower face gua sha crystal roller and spoon as well thank you thank you thank you marie for putting the links up for everyone so lovely this is not a certification course, a 21 day course. No, absolutely not. This is just for you. Our teacher training course is much more in depth in terms of um, learning how to learning more about the muscles and the bones. You learn how about business, you learn about teaching and it's a proper certification. Whereas this is not teacher training at all. This is just for yourself. Um, so glad. You're enjoying this and says you'll be getting the course yay 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 i um, love your fashion sense too thank you so much you're so sweet that's lovely i do like fashion almost as much as wellness and face yoga not quite as much but almost as much um oh great sammy you're gonna do the teacher training course next year that's great news um christy says any exercises i can do to lift the corners of my mouth i notice when i push the skin aha okay so what you want to do is you want to tuck your lips in Feel your lip corners lifting up. Use your fingers here to smooth this area. Hold there for about 20 seconds. Repeat that three times every 20 seconds. Gradually it will lift the lip corners up. It's such a nice one. 
yes use the moisturizing serum with the roller and the gua sha absolutely so when you use roller gua sha or your spoon you want to apply some something like the fusion by daniel collins moisturizing serum that's the best thing to use or any other oil you've got moisturizer tends just to sit on top of the skin doesn't give you the glide in the same way but if it's all you've got in then use that that's absolutely fine but yes you will need to use that for all the tools um how much is the course in euros i'm not sure what 28 pounds in euros is fairly similar i would think but maybe maybe we can let you know um Alette says does the course include exercises for lines in the corner of the eyes absolutely yes it does work on that as well um you're in greece um no you don't need to pay so if you're in greece you don't need to pay extra tax because of brexit no absolutely not um if you're getting anything shipped from our website like this it's all free shipping wherever you are in the world so there's no extra tax and with the course you literally just pay and you get your login for your videos for your course it's all video based learning um and there's no extra tax or anywhere in the world so do not worry about that um Oh, I'm so glad you've enjoyed it. Oh, it's so sweet. Tanya, that's such a lovely thing to say. Erin um, says, just got the course. Well worth it. This is amazing. I bought your morning face yoga recently um, and your 50 and your 52 year old skin appreciates it. I'm so glad, Erin. Thank you. Enjoy, enjoy the course. I'm so glad you've you've gone and got that. Um, Marie says in euros, it's approximately 32 euros, 28 pounds. Um, I'm so glad you've learned a lot. Um, small, Deborah says, anything for releasing a small fatty spot on the forehead. If you've got any particular small fatty spot, I would definitely get that checked first with like a doctor or even an esthetician and just double check because you don't want to be massaging. If it's a particularly sort of prominent fatty area, you just want to check it's not anything, anything that needs to be sort of checked by someone medical first um jennifer says what's the best time to do the massages morning throughout the day or night jennifer the key is to keep it up regularly absolutely so what you want to do is every day but it doesn't matter when do when is best for you if you have time in the morning do it in the morning if you have time in the night do it in the night but the main thing is getting to a habit so you do it on a regular basis um oh you're so sweet what you're writing thank you so much i'm reading every single one i'm sorry i'm not reading every single one out but i'm reading every single one here um seven day course does it do the same top as the 21 day so the seven day course is 12 minutes each and that is working lots of different areas of the face in in one day whereas the 21 day course you're working a different key area of the face each day some of the exercises overlap with the seven day course but some are different as well and on this 21 day course you are also got gua sha crystal roller and you've also got spoon as well for the skin so that is not included in any of my other courses um let me see um nancy says about to turn 17 decided to treat myself got the course and your serum thank you so much and happy birthday for the big seven oh um let me have a look charlotte says love from france merci merci beaucoup um love with um loving the master class oh you're so sweet thank you sarah says um does it help to do the exact same exercise each day or is it important to vary the exercises you can do the same exercise every day that is absolutely fine if you find that suddenly you've been doing the same exercise for every day for a year and suddenly it feels like actually your muscles aren't firing up as much or it feels like the muscles are getting particularly fatigued you can switch up a little bit but never feel that you can't repeat an exercise in fact it's it's very big to um it's very good to sort of um repeat an exercise okay guys i think that is everything i'm just having like oh you've got a do you know, I haven't been looking. I've been looking in the chat box, but I haven't been looking in the Q&A box. Um, let me have a quick look. There's a couple of questions in here. Um, let me have a look. Linda says, I've got one eyebrow lower than the other. Should I work more on the lower side? No. So you want to work both sides equally. Use a mirror and ensure that the side that's lower or weaker or lazier or whatever it is, works equally the same amount as the other side. So you want to encourage them both to work together in unison. So rather than just doing loads on one side of the lower one, work them both together, but really use a mirror to check that they're working both together yes this is recorded so it will be sent to you tomorrow or the next day um amazing amazing oh thank you everyone thank you thank you um 
I don't do one-to-one -one sessions at the moment, but some of our super trainers and some of our teachers who I personally train do offer them. So if you go onto faceyograexpert.com, go onto sessions and you'll see it's called Face Yoga at Home and you can have a one-to-one -one session which, with someone that's been personally trained by me and is an accredited teacher. Um, how often do I use my jade roller? Probably three times a week, four times a week. You could do it every single day, but I have so many tools. I tend to pick one or two tools and use them every day. So what I personally do, and this is not because it's the best thing, it's just because it fits into my routine, is I do my face yoga every evening because my mornings are always super busy with my two little girls. And I then tend to do a... Um, a like a roller or a gua sha or a spoon for a minute or two in the morning because I'm always rushing around in the morning and then I tend to do a tool just after I've done my face yoga in the evening as well so I tend to mix up what tools I use sometimes I use my gua sha sometimes I use the gua sha precision tool you'll see those on my website as well sometimes I'll use a spoon sometimes I'll use a roller so I mix it up a little bit um Rebecca thank you you just signed up for the 21 day course yay 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 lovely 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 and remember the 21 day course guys it is yours for life you can do it as many times as you like you can get it now you can start it when you like so you're not restricted to doing it within a 21 day period it's just 21 three minute really targeted effective videos amazing thank you oh how lovely love from Mallorca with your Dutch friend Brigitte hello hello Ah, oh, wonderful. And Ria says, how much time does sagging cheeks take to uplift? You want to give it a couple of weeks, I would say, before we start seeing any, any difference in that area. Okay, guys, thank you. I think it is time to go now. Let me know how you get on. For you guys that are getting the 21 day course, please do let me know any feedback from it. Either email me, you can email at info at faceyogaexpert.com. Let me see if I put the info there. Yes, I have. You can email me, let you know how, how you've got on. You can um, send me some feedback on Instagram, Face Yoga Expert, um, or on Facebook, Face Yoga Expert. I'd love to hear how you get on with the course. And don't forget to grab it while it is at the early bird price of only 28 pound for the whole course and thank you so so much for joining me take care bye bye everyone bye bye thank you thank you